All right, Levi. In your opinion, who do you think the strongest horror movie antagonists are? Well, it depends. There's the ancient ones from Cabin in the Woods. One of the most powerful slashers, though not as popular as you would think, is Mary, Mary Lou Maloney from Prom Night 2 and 3. Like, it, it's a matter of perspective, you know? Like, totally. It's, you know, every time I make a crossover scenario with horror movies and such, I always have to think, how would it be compatible with other scenarios? True. What are some of your favorite classic horror movies? You mean Golden Age? Yes, sir. Um, the original Blob was noteworthy, along with the original Nancy. And fun fact, I've heard rumors that Tim Burton is going to make a remake for the Attack of the 50 Foot Woman. Incredible. I've heard rumors of it, but it hasn't been confirmed. It's just rumors as of so far. Well, that's cool. What style of horror is your favorite, or genre? I think I would most prefer either Silver or Modern Age. Do you want to describe that first one you said, Silver? Golden Age is black and white film. Okay. Before they had color in the cameras. Uh, Silver Age is 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, Modern Age is any time within the 21st century. Okay. Interesting. What are some cool, lesser-known horror movie recommendations you have? There's Await the Dawn, which is interesting. Imagine, like, being out in the woods in the middle of the night. You come across a little girl, but she happens to be a Lovecraftian monstrosity disguised as a little girl. Okay. Any others you'd recommend? That's just the first one that came to mind, so I apologize. No, you're good. What was the very first horror movie that you ever watched? The very first R movie that I've ever watched legitimately. I was like 17, maybe 18 years old. It was Zombievers on Netflix. Okay. That's the first R movie that I've legitimately seen. That's pretty cool. Okay, and now I've got a couple scenarios for you. If Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees fought, who do you think would win? They fought before. Yeah. And I don't want to do any spoilers. No, that's totally okay. What about Jason Voorhees and Jigsaw? I don't know. What are the odds that Jason would be able to survive? Like, the scenario would be if Jason was chained at the ankle in a cage that is flooded. In order for him to break out, he has to let go of his mother's memory. Okay. But if he fails to do so, then he would drown and he wouldn't be able to break out because of the chain on his ankle. True. What are the odds that you would be able to power through with that? That's a good question. Who do you think would win between Annabelle or Chucky? I don't know. Like, Annabelle is only mortal if Malthus, the demon, is outside the proximity of the doll, like outside the body of the doll, which then, if you destroy the porcelain doll with him outside, that's how a notable way, at least, to banish him. Mm -hmm. Whereas Charles Lee Ray, he's an expert at voodoo magic, and he might be able to figure out some way to manipulate the Annabelle doll so that way maybe Malthus would be unable to use it. Okay. Like, theoretically speaking. Of course, yeah. Alright, who do you think is the most powerful demonic antagonist in a horror movie? Most powerful demonic? I don't know, maybe the ancient ones, if you would consider them demonic? Of course, can you tell us a little bit about those? Turns out the Captain in the Woods reveals that the reason why horror movies are in a certain way... Like, for example, why do these certain people have to die? Why do certain people have to die first? Like, why is the killer unable to be killed? Why is all of these things in place? Because it's a ritual. There's a global corporation that is aware of the Ancient Ones that will destroy the world. But in order to keep them from doing so, they have to allow six people a year 
to be killed by whatever horror-themed threats happen to manifest. Okay. So basically, if you only kill six people in order to save seven billion people from an apocalypse, wouldn't that make you a hero? And plus, only six people per year. Okay, I gotcha. Do you feel that horror movies as a whole have gotten better or worse with time? It's been improving, but then again, it's all a matter of one's perspective. It's true. Okay, well that's all the questions I have for you today. Any last thoughts on this genre? I can't think of anything else. I just hope that it's this video is worth it for my audience. Excellent. Okay, well thank you very much. Yeah.